Hello, my name is Maturis and welcome to a new episode of Deponia. We're still on the trash ship in saving the princess. And I guess we have to pick one of these levers to save her. So, what's going to be yellow? Going to be blue or is it going to be green? Well, let's start with the first one. Let's talk about the green one. Take that! No, don't! Ah! What's that? Ah! Alright. I guess, guess that, that was the wasn't... Lever. You damned fool! How dare you mess with the plans of the Organon men! Throw him overboard! Alright. Guess that's not <laughs> a good thing. You need to catch me first, but I'm much too fast for you, see? First I'm here, and now I'm gone. Here, gone. <laughs> uh, oh, God. He's a true fool. Uh -uh. Alright, I guess that wasn't part of the plan. But it's looking great. Ouch. I guess I so that close, hurt. But no, the minute I see a beautiful damsel in distress, wham! Well, I guess that's just who I am. I'm simply a die-hard do-gooder. All right. I guess that was part of the plan because we got a little check mark here. So. I guess it's what's kind of part of the plan. We did that, we've done that. Oh, we could have done it another way. I don't know what way we could have done it, but I guess we could have done it. All right, let's... Ooh, a mechanical bull, that's fun. Let's check out the bulletin board. Ah, Miss Hinkle lost her dachshund. Well, I'm sure it'll turn up. I mean, there wasn't much kerosene in the turbine after all. Lobo is looking for a new hammock. Well, that makes sense. The old one wasn't fireproof. <laughs> uh, Inspector Gizmo investigates the tunnel collapse in Sector 17. Uh-oh, I hope nobody checks out the gym. Nope, no, nobody checked out the gym. Alright, I do want to check out you the mechanical. You have to be age 6 or older to use this device. Oh, how boring is that? Can I use it then? You have to be age six or older to use this device. Oh, how boring is that? Oh, come on. Why can't I use it then? Would have been so much fun. Let's see. What do we get? Let's check out the truck. Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. <laughs> Let's check the hood. Locked. Huh. It can probably be opened from the inside. All right. I guess we're not going to take the truck or anything else. Let's enter the village. This is on one big village. I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax on the lack of political commitment. All right. So let's, uh, go see what's happening. Can I, I can't talk to them, so I guess we are going to go inside. Damn, it's busy in here. Please form a line, people. Draw a waiting... <clears throat> Draw a waiting number, and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well, I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the dark exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Mine even <laughs> has a dragon in it. So move to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. All right. Opening hours, so where can I draw? 
I got my waiting number. Number 66. Almost 66. All right. I guess we are going to wait in a line. What's this snow? Mayor's office. Hardly ever saw such stupid hats. Ooh, magnets. Those notice boards are great. I mean, if it wasn't for them, I'd still have to search for magnets in the trash heaps. So, Those notice boards are great. I mean, if it wasn't for them, I'd still have to search for magnets in the trash heaps. So can I pick one up? We can pick them all up. Damn, where are Thief? Who are you? Can't talk to you? No, we can enter the post office. But I want every to... office. Maybe someone should tell the mayor. Let's take a look at Lottie. Hello, Lottie. You too. <clears throat> you too? Dear me. What a day. Where's the girl from Elysium? Princess Sugar. <clears throat> yeah, Princess Sugar Bottom. Oh, she's lying around in the assembly hall. Of course, I knew you came because of her. It's always the same. <clears throat> always the same. A beautiful <laughs> young girl in a tight jumpsuit falls from the sky heavily injured, and immediately <laughs> everyone's falling over themselves to help her. Hussy. Hussy. All right. I want to see the mayor. Everyone. <clears throat> Everyone does. Oh, this is this is truly amazing. <laughs> Can you make an exception and let me in before the others? It's your turn when your number comes up. No exceptions. Not even for me. Especially not for you. Why not? I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. Although a lot of people will be glad to hear that. Me, for instance. That won't be possible today. <clears throat> the mayor is pretty busy at the moment. Right. But the line isn't moving at all. Who's next anyway? Number 62. I think that's Wenzel. Wenzel is also applying, but Wenzel isn't even here. Well, it's his turn. Wenzel is up next. No exceptions. All right. I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. All right, we can't go in the mayor office, we can go in the post office, or we can go to the assembly hall. The girl is there, so let's go to the assembly hall. Goal! I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. Oh my god, who's that creepy, screed guy? Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. So, <laughs> the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job. Knock yourself out All right. after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. All right, look deep into my eyes and you will be in love forever. Oh no, I'm in love. Oh my god. Mm. Yay! And I screw it up again. That's enough. You what? Come on. Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! 
The coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. All right. I guess we can talk to him. We can... Yeah, we can't touch her. He'll get pissed off. But what does this button do? Let's see. Ooh. A corp box. And a balloon. So I guess we're going to pick up the corp box. Do I have the balloons now? Yes, I do have the balloons. So... Yeah, what do we do with the balloons? Can I blow up the balloons? I guess we can't. Alright. Guess we're done here. Let's see if Gizmo's already... Uh... No, it's not Gizmo. What? That guy Weasel is, is already talking to the mayor. And... Uh... I, well, I do want to check out the post Stop right there! Oh. The post <coughs> The post office is closed. All right. Until I guess we up. can go in there. Until when? Until the sign says, then it's open! But there's no clock there. Very observant. And now... Get away from that door! All right. Guess we can only go outside. So, this is a big town. What are we going to do? We can go into Tony's shop, and I guess we don't want to do that because Tony is kind of pissed off. We can go to Tony's house, Wenzel's house, and, uh, well, town hall. What's this? What a reservoir. All right. I guess I'm I'm missing something into the alley. Ooh. Alright. What's this? Hey, it's our good friend. Hannigan. Let's talk to the Hello other. Hannick. Oh, hey, uh Rufus. Exactly. Why aren't you working? You mean why am I doing just the same as you? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Hey, I am very busy, actually. I've been running around all day, getting things <laughs> done, and uh, picking stuff up, and, 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 and things like that. And well, I do a lot of stuff. How about you find some new magnets for our detonation plan? Then we can finally continue work. All right. How exactly does that detonation plan of yours work? Well, that's pretty exciting, actually. Yeah, I doubt it. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then he rings a bell, and I give a signal to the miner who will on his part prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. <sighs> and then you start with the exciting part? Um, no. That's it, actually. All right. I knew it. Is that your parrot? Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. 
see. <laughs> All right. Like a little bit like the canary. Uh, Did you hear about the woman from Elysium? Yes, but I really don't care. I already have a woman I can send into the mine shaft. It's too narrow in there for two women. <laughs> Love must be such a wonderful thing. All right. How does that detonation plan of yours work again? Oh, the chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then what? he rings a bell, and I give a signal to the miner who will on his part prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. Right, thanks. All right. Uh, talk to you later. See you, uh... Rufus? Exactly. So I can put myself magnets on this. All right, I'm not kind of sure where we need to put them yet. Because we haven't talked anything about that. But yeah, I'm, I'm guess. Can I take them off? Let's talk to the parrot. Hello. 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 Ah, oh, I'm starving. I've eaten nothing but worms for days now. Ignore him. My wife sometimes talks to herself when she's down there. He must have picked that up from her. <laughs> we can't meet anymore. Ah, although my husband is almost dead, his bird has quite good ears. Ah, ah. Oh my god. I wonder... Hello again. Can we... Rufus. Exactly. What exactly are you guys... What do you think? We search for useful trash. Most right. of the time, trash is just junk. And so, pretty useless. For instance, I have a whole collection of car keys for cars that have been scrapped ages ago. All right. Maybe you have my key, too. Mm, I don't know. What was your name again? Rufus. Let me think. Rufus. 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 No. I no don't key. think I got your All key. All right. Hmm. Can Wenzel? Oh, Wenzel. Let me think. Wenzel. 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 I just go down no, every knee. I don't think I got your key. Well. Tony. Let me think. Tony. 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 No. I don't think I got your key. All right. I guess I that's it. not Done. it. Anything else? No, no, we'll talk uh, about it. Talk to you later. See you, I guess uh, I need more information exactly. to finish this. So I guess this is not going to be anything helpful. Tony's house, what do we got? Will's house. Oh my god. Wait a second. Was there nothing else? What's this? The emergency station. Oh, no, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. I see a bar. We always need to go in a bar. That's a perfect place to ah, end this. Rufus. Rufus. You're on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. Oh, well, listen, Lonzo. I, uh, I planned to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot. And, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Rufus. No one here expected you to make it. Huh. Ah, great. Thanks, I guess. All right. I guess this is going to be the end of the episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. I certainly did. And if you want to get this game also, check out the link down below. I put a post uh, to where shop where you can get the game. And you also support me by doing so. So... If you want to play Deponia and get it cheap, check out the link down below. If you're new to the channel, also push the subscription button, push the little bell, and we are going to check out how Rufus is going to find his way through this bar in the next episode of Deponia. So see you all at the next Saturday at the next episode of Deponia.